Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who's thought of everything, a God who's there for us in all of our situations. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, beginning at verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the suffering of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. You know, as I read these words this morning, I'm reminded that uh, that life is not easy, that there's times where we all need to be comforted, where there's things that we go through and, and the Holy Spirit is always there to comfort us. Uh, the one blessing we have as Christians is that God is always there. Um, God has provided for us. Then through the Holy Spirit in our lives, we can find comfort in the midst of, of death. We can find comfort in the midst of hard times or sickness. We can find comfort in the midst of persecution um, or whatever it is we're going through. Uh, God is there to comfort us through the Holy Spirit. And just as we, as God is there to comfort us, we are to comfort others. Uh, part of how we minister to people is through providing comfort and love uh, in their time of need. You know, it's, I guess it's kind of interesting or, or ironic in the idea that if someone has everything they need, if things are going well, their job is going well, their finances are going well, they really don't need God. Uh, they don't see a need for God. It's in the midst of these times when maybe things aren't going well or when things are downright hard um, that we can show God's love, that we can share God's love with them. Um, you know, we all need God's love. We all need his comfort. Some of us just don't realize that it's God that we need. Um, and, and it's because we haven't had to experience or haven't had the opportunity to experience God's comfort. Um, you know, I know that times that uh, and it's not very heartwarming, I guess, and people say, well, you know, if you're going through it, then you'll be able to help somebody else. And it's like, well, yeah, I, but I don't want to go through it. And, and that's the reality. But we know on this side of heaven that we all go through bad things, that we all experience hardships and, and, and death and these things that, that can really eat us and tear us apart. And, um, you know, we all go through it. But when we get through it, we then are able to help others. Uh, we then are able to be used of God in other circumstances. Um, you know, uh, some things we just can't understand unless we've been through it. Um, for someone who's lost their spouse, as I have, um, to death, um, I have a renewed um understanding of what that means and what people go through when it happens. Uh, I hope it helps me be a better pastor and a better friend uh, as I can share with people and as I can understand what they've been through. Now, I certainly didn't wish that to happen. I, I wouldn't want that to happen to anybody. And yet it's a reality in this world, in this life, because in this, li this life is not meant to live on forever. Um, and so even though we would never want to experience those things, we can praise God that he comforted us through it. He certainly comforted me through that. Um, and then use that to help comfort others. And, and that's kind of what we're talking about. Uh, just this idea that God's comfort is for us and we're to share it. So today, uh, I just kind of sum it up by saying, just ask God today to help you to understand uh, and to comfort others with the experiences you've had. Um, some good, some bad, some whatever. Uh, let's focus on what God has done for us and let's try to do our best to share it with others. God loves you. And God wants to use you to love others. Wouldn't it be awesome today if we could just love on someone and share with them in such a way that, that their heart hurt us, that their heart um, felt the love of Jesus and their life changed forever uh, because we shared our experience. Wouldn't that be awesome? That's my prayer today. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, that you've been a comfort to us and our hard experiences. Thank you, Lord, for always walking beside us. And thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to share with others. Father, we pray today that uh, you would open our eyes that we might be able to see and understand what others are going through. We pray, oh God, that as you uh, use us to, to reach out to them, that they would be open to your love and to your heart. Father, may it be today that we have opportunity to, to lead someone in a prayer of salvation, not a work that we do, but a work that's done by your Holy Spirit that you allow us to be a part of. Father, we just want to see your kingdom grow. We want to see people who are lost um, come into the light and, Father, uh, add it to your family. Father, we just pray that you bless those today who need a special touch, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. Father, you know each need, and so we commit people to you, and we thank you for all that you're about to do. Father, may you be praised in all of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray for these things. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you today. Uh, God is watching over you.
Just, I hope that you can enjoy this day and share your life with others. Have a great day. God bless you.